Indiana State Police are turning to the public for help after a man was found shot to death in a cemetery just outside Connorsville. Today I spoke with some neighbors who say police searched not only the victim's house, but also his neighborhood. The body of 53-year-old Thomas Combs was found in Dale Cemetery outside Connorsville around 7 a.m. on August 17th. Detectives have determined he had been shot to death at some point overnight. I thought it was weird because, you know, the gates are closed at 8 p.m. and then reopen at 8 a.m. Sue Bean lives right next to the cemetery and saw the cop cars there that morning. She said she didn't hear any gunshots that night. It's shocking. I mean, because this is a quiet neighborhood. State police have taken over the investigation and wouldn't say why. However, online court records show Combs had previously filed a lawsuit against city and county police. They went around the neighborhood and talked to people and checked his house and everything. Stanley Callahan said state police swarmed the home and neighborhood where Combs lived. Callahan, along with many of his neighbors, were questioned about Combs' life and routine. He was a private person. You know, he didn't do a lot, come and go. He stayed, spent a lot of time at home. State police are now hoping members of the community can help them move forward in their investigation. Whether the tip is big or small, we like to sort out those tips and, and do a thorough investigation. Detectives are asking anyone who might have seen or heard anything suspicious on the night of August 16th or the morning of August 17th to give them a call. If they could just check their ring cameras and see, or any kind of surveillance cameras, just to see if they've caught anything or uh, whether it be sound or visual. People we spoke with said they're now on edge knowing a killer is among them. Keeps you on your toes. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're always looking back. Anybody with any information is encouraged to call the Indiana State Police Pendleton Post. We have that contact information for you under this story on our website, fox59.com.